Hello to everyone. I hope everyone is doing good. Okay, if you were watching my show yesterday, you know I have tons of work to do. So what I did was, yeah, yesterday I just started working on it. And I was going all day, all day, all day. Very unpleasant. But what happened was uh, about midday today, I started to get a handle on it. Uh, before that, it was totally out of control. Uh, one time, uh, I think it was about two years ago, I had to move and I had a massive amount of work to do. And at about day two and a half, I started to get control of that move. But prior to that, there was no control. It was just... A massive amount of work so I I now have control after only one day of torture shelf stable milk but I still have a massive amount of work to do at least uh, this kind of work leads to uh, money <laughs> not losing my money that helps okay so I need to make myself some food for lunch, but what I want to do is I want to make some food that's going to last me, uh, you know, until late tonight. I don't want to have to be moving, messing around. So I'm going to make some food, and, and this would be good, good snack food for anybody, you know, or food food, call it what you want. So I want to make myself two peanut butter and banana sandwiches because peanut butter and banana sandwiches are yummy. And then, you know, I'll just eat them, you know, as I get hungry. Stockpile. Um, I had the shelf-stable milk in the stockpile, and I have tea at all times in the stockpile, which is handy because if you have a massive amount of work to do, you can just go into your stockpile, get out your peanut butter, bananas. No, that's not food. Yeah, this is food, you guys. This is good food. You guys, if it's good enough for Elvis, it's good enough for me. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I was one of Elvis Presley's biggest fans in the whole wide world. That was a sad day when he died. Well, that was a sad day uh, when uh, Michael Jackson died, too. Very sad. Terrible, actually. Um, both of them were not... Uh, well, I think Michael Jackson was 51 and Elvis was 47. And Elvis's mother died very young as well, which was Gladys. And his father was Vernon. Everyone knew the family. Well, everyone knows Michael Jackson's family, uh, Lisa Marie. <laughs> she was a cute kid, too. Uh, my son and I were talking about that. Isn't that so incredible? Some woman is born to Elvis and marries Michael Jackson. That's impossible. But she did it. Okay, so now I have some tasty... <laughs> tea party sandwiches to go with my tea. Well, I don't think Elvis is the only one who loves these. He's probably just the most famous person known to love these. I don't like my bananas too overdone. I won't cut this one up. I will just eat it at some point. Okay, so now 
I bought a mystery can yesterday and I thought, wow, I sure hope this is tuna and not cat food, and it was. So I was happy about that. And so what I, I did is I squeezed all the, the liquid that comes in it out and uh, I rinsed it. It was very um, flaky, so I only rinsed it once. Usually I rinse two or three times, but if you're gonna rinse all your, I have to take anything I don't like the looks of out. But if you're gonna rinse all your tuna down the sink, you know, then maybe you just might wanna rinse it one time. I have a few pickles left. I have, I bought a gigantic uh, red onion, so I might as well have a little bit of that. Oh, I have a little pickle juice. So now, okay, life is good. Okay, so I have a little mayonnaise, so this is good. I want to use all my mayonnaise up to the very last drop. So what I was doing is I was going through my eBay uh, mostly it was clothes. Not that the jewelry pepper. A little salt helps. And then I want to mix it together. Okay, you know good colorists? They don't leave lumps in the hair color. I don't want lumps in my tuna either. I want it all. Oh, look, that ended up to be just about the right amount of mayo. I want to use the last bit of my... Uh, remember my friend Ruthie, why the hell are you so cheap? I don't know. I think it's hereditary. One of my aunts was very... I wouldn't call her thrifty. I would call her extremely... I mean, I wouldn't call her cheap. I would call myself cheap. But I would call her extremely filth... Not filthy. Extremely filthy. Thrifty. Okay, now look at this good mayo that I made. That's why I made it. And I got my tuna dirt cheap. And I used up the last bit of mayo. Why the hell are you so cheap? You know me. I'm just a cheap person. Okay, so now I bought these crescents this brand is really good you only get two i think they were two for a dollar they're not the cheapest but you know i can i can afford to spend a little bit more on my crescent because uh you know my tuna was so darn cheap <laughs> this is really enough for three sandwiches refrigerator and then when I need another sandwich I'll just make myself look at this yumminess I want to encourage you to be cheap okay to be really really cheap is probably gonna take years of practice, you guys. Years and years and years of practice. <laughs> now what? Okay, I have some Rotel tomatoes in the refrigerator that I bought at Aldi's because Aldi's has it the cheapest. And then yesterday at uh, 99 cent only, I mar bought Markdown chips. And I said, oh, they're probably all cracked up. Let's take a look. Well, they're not that bad, you guys. And I, so my uh, tuna was marked down. 
everything was pretty much in the stockpile. So while I'm slaving away, am I going to be starving? I don't think so. You know, the 4th of July weekend is coming up, you guys. Uh, we have to be on high alert for terrorist attack. If you see anything, call the police. Um, I told you about, okay, I bought these marked down. I told you about my shop. It, it looked like the package was opened or ripped open, but I think they're safe. I will eat these. Uh, so I called the police because somebody left uh, a suitcase in front of our beauty shop. I didn't even notice it. My boss did. I said, well, you, you call the police. He called the police. They didn't come. And so I moved the suitcase. And my boss said, uh, you moved it? And I said, yeah, I figured, you know, it, there would be a detonator. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, it's the 4th of July, you don't have that much money, you want to enjoy the 4th of July, you could invite some children. One more thing, crescents with um, ham and cheese, tuna, and egg salad is very, very good um, food for like parties, like, I hate to say this, but like after a funeral uh, with uh, macaroni salad and chips and dip and a veggie, a veggie, a lot of veggies, or 4th of July too, or anything, wedding receptions, anything. You know, like if you have a wedding or party at the park, um, sandwiches are great. Okay, you guys, I'll be doing more uh, 4th of July stuff, and God bless you all.